How's it going? This is Brandon Hurley from Texas Country Fly Fisher. And I just want you guys to know, like when I go camping on the Brazos, one of the funnest things for us to do is at nighttime, we like to throw jug lines. And you're like, well, how do you do that? Well, I'm fixing to tell you how to do it. I live in the state of Texas and the state of Texas, all for, uh, you can have any jug line that you want as long as it's permitted on your water. And it can't have more than five hooks hanging off the end of it. I don't ever put five hooks on there. I like to put one or two hooks minimum on there. But as long as it says, it says in the rules, as long as you put your name, address, and the date that you set it out, it's a properly worn gear tag. Now I have my name, my address, and the date that it was set. And that that is now a legal jug line in the state of Texas. I'm gonna show you how I like to set it up. I use 50 pound cheap, 50 pound mono from uh, right out of the, it's like $1.74 for this reel um, from Wally World. Uh, I just, I put a cinch knot on the bottom of the, I put a cinch knot on the bottom of the jug line. Uh, I've never... I used to use uh, I used to use trot line material for my jug lines. When we go out there, I'd, I'd always use trot line material, and uh, I have found that I catch more fish. Um, I catch more fish not using the trot line material, and actually using this monofilament. So what I have there is uh, I have my jug and then I, I like to make deep ones and I make I like to make shallow ones. But the way I put my hook on there is I give me a big old loop. I, all I did was just do an overhand loop like so. And I like to get a big, a big loop like that. And then... You have this loop, and I like to go inside of the loop over and over and over, at least four times. One, two, three, four. And then after the fourth one, you can pull it and it'll cinch down just like so. Now you have your nice little loop that goes out on that loop. I like to take a circle hook. I like to take a circle hook. I like to wrap it one, two, put the hook itself through the loop and pull it back tight. Now that one's done. See how that just sits on there like that? I like to do a second one. So I do an overhand loop. Like this. Get your hook set in there. I like to use smaller hooks. I think they tend to catch bigger fish or they catch more fish, I should say. So now that hook's on there. So I have the the I have the jug line I got one hook I got two hooks I roll them up like so and then I stick the hooks into the bottom and then I just keep rolling I take the hook and stick it in the bottom. 
And then you just want to see how deep you want that anchor. Some of the places I fish are real deep. Some of them aren't. Sometimes they run with them away. Sometimes they don't. But. I'll take one of these jig. Take one of these weights. Just do a cinch knot on the end of it. Now keep it down. And now, throughout the day when we're fly fishing, and we catch us a little perch or something of the sort like that. Now we have bait. I, I like to take the hook and stick it through the end of the, of the weight. So it all stays together for you like that. And then at night time, you take your little piece of that duct tape that you take along with you. Take a piece of that duct tape that you have with you. You put your clothes stick on the end of it like that. And now it's sitting out there in the water just floating along. And if a fish gets it, it'll take off with it. And then at nighttime, I like to buy the big 30 pack from Walmart. You get 30 packs for like $6 in the party session. And I will be at night time, I'll be purple. So every jug line that I use, I'll put a purple stick or a blue stick on the end of it. And then my son will be green. And then my buddy will be yellow and so forth and so on. And then before you, before you get ready to go to bed at night time, and you sit down and you're really getting your camp made and so forth and so on, before all that's done, you get out there and you throw your jug lines out with the uh, with the glow stick on there. So while you're sitting around camp at nighttime, uh, telling stories and so forth and so on, you can look out there in the river and you can see one of your jug lines take off. And whoever's jug line it is, by the color that it is, uh, you know you get to. You can either go out there and chase the fish at nighttime, or you can wait until the next morning. But so much fun. That's how I like to do my jug lines. We have so much fun on our trips every night with the jug lines. I suggest everybody to throw them out. I don't, I mean, even if the river is a foot and a half deep right in front of your campsite, the fish are still moving in a foot and a half deep water. So make sure you get out there. Make sure you get out there and put uh, and, and put you some jug lines out. Uh, it, it sure is a lot of fun to, to chase them down and to get them big Texas gar or them big old freaking catfish. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised about what you can pull up on uh, on one of these when them big catfish hit it. They, they'll take one of these jug lines under and you won't see it for 10 to 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden you'll see one pop back up again. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching Texas Country Fly Fisher. This is my jug line, uh, jug line fishing at nighttime on my camping. Uh, I think you'd enjoy it. Remember, put your glow stick on the end of it. Make sure you follow your local regulations and uh, have a good day. Oh yeah. Oh, it took it under. Wow. It took it under. It took the noodle <laughs> under. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs>
It's like Jaws. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when you when you grab a hold of that, you yank that hook. Yank it hard. <laughs> oh. I think he's running from you. Yeah, it's running. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, there it is.